Hey guys, um, before I start this video, I want to say thanks to everyone who subscribed. We're almost at 100 subscribers now, so hopefully a lot of you guys will be able to learn how to reskin apps. Um, anyway, on today's video, I want to talk about um, how you can reskin apps on Windows computers, because I've been getting a lot of those questions lately. Um, so let's start with that. Uh, there's really two things you can do to reskin apps on a Windows computer. Um, the first one is just avoiding Apple's stuff altogether. Um, for example, you can do like an Android uh, reskin, like put it on the Play Store or put it on Amazon's uh, App Store. Um, that's probably one of the best ways because uh, the second method, it takes a little more time to do, but um, the payout can still be really good. So let's talk about uh, creating like Amazon and Android apps first. Um, <clears throat> personally, I like Amazon's uh, store better, so if I'm not doing an Apple reskin, I'm typically doing an Amazon one. Uh, for some reason, everything I've put up on Android, it gets like no downloads, and um, I don't know, I just don't like Java either. So Java is what you use to create Android apps, and uh, all the Amazon apps I do are in Unity, so they're all in uh, C Sharp, I think. Um, anyway, uh, the good thing about doing an Amazon or Android app is, uh, you have a lot better performance for your computer if you have a Windows, because if you're trying to do an Apple reskin, as I'll talk about later, you have to get like a virtual machine and stuff, which slows everything down. Um, so really the best way to start creating apps on Windows, uh, without doing Apple stuff is just downloading Unity or um, Android Studio. And then if you don't know how to code, purchase a template from Chupa Mobile that's either a Unity app or an Android app. And um, you just take the code and open it up and it'll open in either Unity or Android Studio. And you can just edit everything you want from there. Um, so if you do it that way, it's pretty easy. Um, I found though, Android apps don't really sell for as much as iOS ones do. Um, I'm not really totally sure why, but a lot of times you actually have to have some downloads going. Um, but I found a really good way to make money is uh, putting iOS apps onto the Amazon store that weren't originally there. So you can buy a template and then put it onto the Amazon store. And um, that usually makes a lot of money. Like I talked about my fidget spinners app before, I was able to make like $500 a month for a couple of months. So um, that's pretty good. But I think a lot of you really want to do iOS apps on your Windows computer. Uh, it's an, actually not too hard, but um, it depends on how good your computer is. Um, as long as it's an okay computer, I think this should be able to work, but uh, let's start with it. So the first thing you're going to need is uh, to download a virtual machine. Um, you can download the software to do this from VirtualBox. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Um, this basically lets you run like a different operating system on your computer. Um, so you will definitely have to download that and it is free. Um, another thing you're gonna have to do is download Mac OS. Um, this is also free to do, um, so you have to go to like Apple's website and then download it from there. I'll also leave a link to that so that's easy for you guys to get to. Um, by the way, there's also a whole article that has like step-by-step -step instructions on doing this, um, and they probably explain it much better than me, so I'll leave the link to that too. Um, I read through it and it's actually pretty simple. But anyway, once you download the virtual machine in the Mac OS, um, you're going to have to put the Mac OS into the virtual machine, um, which the article explains exactly how to do. And uh, before we go further with this, uh, you guys should know there are some like computer constraints. Um, your computer needs to be 64-bit, so anything like 32 is not going to work. Uh, you should also have at least four gigs of RAM. Um, 
because you're going to have to allocate some RAM to the virtual machine. And if uh, you don't have enough RAM, then your computer is going to be really slow and you're not going to be able to do anything. And finally, the article also says you must have a dual core computer. And uh, so I would just make sure you have those three things before you try this or else it's pretty much guaranteed that your uh, new virtual machine will be very uh, laggy. Um, so let's say you followed the tutorial and everything. You have your virtual machine set up. It's all good. You're running macOS on your Windows now. After that, you're going to want to go to the App Store and download Xcode. This is what you need to um, create apps in or even edit apps in. Uh, it's free to download. It's just kind of a big file, so it might take a little while to download. Um, so once you download Xcode, uh, you're pretty much set for your setup. Uh, you'll just need to buy a template if you don't know how to code. Download that, and then you can start editing everything. So the reason you would want to go through all this trouble to download uh, a virtual machine and get uh, Mac OS on your computer is that iOS typically iOS apps typically sell for more. Um, I found all the times that I've tried to sell an Android or an Amazon app, they never really quite go as high as an iOS app. I'm really not totally sure why. I think a lot more people like to use the iPhone on Flipa or something. I really have no clue, but um, that's really why you would go through this trouble to do that. I think it'll be worth it in the long run. And uh, if you have the money, I would definitely try to get a used Mac uh, or a new one too, whatever you have the budget for, because it really is worth it. It'll make it a lot faster and a lot nicer to uh, create your reskins. You can get like a used Mac for pretty cheap. It really doesn't matter which type, as long as it's a Mac, um, it should be good. So the only issue with creating iOS apps is every single reskin you make, um, it's going to have to be reviewed by Apple, and this can uh, take up time. Usually it only takes like a couple of days, but sometimes it can take up to two weeks, so that can really uh, hurt the schedule. Sometimes they just reject your apps for no reason, and uh, it can be really frustrating, but um, it's something you have to do, and there are ways to like uh, if, if you do get rejected for like spam or something like that, there are ways around it. I'll probably make a video about that eventually, but um, yeah, you really just have to deal with that. And if you can get through that, you can make a lot of money with iOS apps. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much the two options you have if you're reskinning on a Windows computer. I would definitely recommend um, trying out, getting your virtual machine and everything. I'll post the link to that article below because it's actually quite easy to set everything up. Um, so hopefully this helped a lot of you guys out because I know a lot of people are running uh, Windows, so um, it's a little more difficult to get into the reskinning. But uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and thanks for all the support. We're almost at 100 subscribers, so um, it's been going great. Thanks, guys.